What's up? Wayne Barron here with DarkFlakes.net and we are, huh, what's this? It's a windmill. Not really, but close enough. Tom Johnson 121 wants to know how to take a windmill that he has for his project, which is three minutes long, and have it to basically loop for a 10 minute video. And so this right here is only five seconds long. I created it in After Effects in order to make something really similar to what his issue is. However, we're able to loop this to where it actually looks like it's a continuously run part of the video. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it inside of Sony Vegas Pro. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Thanks a lot, Tom Johnson 121, for your question. And here you go. Okay, so here's our project. This is the video we just got from the scene. And um, so what we want to do is that we want to take this and we basically, we, there's two ways of doing this. You can either hold your control key Come over here to the edge till you see the squiggly line, then you can drag it out. However, the only thing that this is going to do is that this is going to stretch out your video and it's going to slow down the animation. It's going to slow down your windmill, and that's not what you want. So what you want to do is that we're just going to have to do this. It's just going to be a copy and paste thing. So you're just going to paste in one. So grab a hold of it, hold down the shift key. This will allow you to drag it over. And I basically already know where this needs to be at, which is about 110. And this right here will allow it to basically go right into the next one and so that's the best way that you're going to have to do this is just grab a hold of it and find out where you got your match at okay so see that that's drag right on 110 and then you're going to just going to have to continue this throughout your video but once you do it the very first one that you do and once you set it 110 which is really hard to do you're just going to have to go deep inside of your timeline like this and the deeper you go the more you the more control that you have over it and so that right there we're just going to drag it right over to 110 so just do it here grab a hold of it then hold down shift drag it all the way to the 110 okay see that's only on mine mine will do it at 110 it will sink in just perfect with it like so and so you just continue this until you are completely done with your animation. Okay, and so I mean, that's this is the only way that I know to do this. It, like I said, once you do the very first one, like I said, mine is set at 110. And so once you do that very first one, then it'll be really easy to do every one of them. So you got a three minute windmill clip so and you got a 10 minute video so you only got to do this three times basically so that'll give you nine minutes so basically three and a half times so like what i did right here at the end i had to bring it in and, and then soften it out as the the video was ending and so but this right here is the best way that i know how to do your windmill effect so that it can actually stay within your video and uh it actually looks like it is the same length of your video all right wayne baron here with darkeffects.net and da, 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 tom johnson 121 thank you very much for your question anybody have any more questions please feel free to drop me a line down yonder in the comment box or send me a private message if that's the way you want and i will try to get back with you within a couple of days depends on what whether or not i get the notification y'all have a good one now bye bye